All of us here at RTC would like to tell our veterans and all that have served, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really, really appreciate everything you guys have done for this country. Hi, I'm Donna McCullough from our RTC Akron office, and I'd like to take a moment and thank all of our veterans, past and present. Thank you for your service, and thank you for our freedom. I'd like to pay special tribute to my father, Don Cooley, who was a United States Marine, and my father-in-law, Harold McCullough, who served in the United States Army and served our country proudly. Thank you. Amid the pomp and circumstance of college commencement, congratulations on your special accomplishments. A special surprise <laughs> waiting in the wings. We're here hiding behind the actual stage and ready to go. A military mission from a soldier to her sister. My chain of command pulled strings together to get me here. To celebrate graduation at Ball State. I actually purchased my ticket almost a little over two months ago with just the high hopes that this would pan out. Nobody knew, not Cheney with her class, not their parents who were expecting to FaceTime with their daughter when Cheney took the stage. There they are on their phones. Nervous Nancy is a color. She's already sent me a FaceTime message and I haven't responded, so we'll see. She's at the base of the stairs. And when plan met action. That's my sister. Her sister has just returned from Afghanistan. A joyful reunion off stage, and then another in the stands. How are you? What a pleasant surprise. I had no idea. No idea. Mind blown. When I heard Afghanistan, I knew something was up. I had to stop and like take a deep breath because I didn't even know if that was her. It was just mind blowing. Because she wasn't due back here to our hometown till uh, August 9th. An unexpected homecoming celebrating the success of two sisters. I think we know somebody upstairs had a, had a huge hand in this, and I'm here. Couldn't be more proud of her. But it's just complete. I think that she will forever remember this day. Because this year, these sisters had two specific goals. Which was for, for me to get home and for her to graduate. And for both, it is mission accomplished. Hello, and welcome to RTC here on Channel 4. I'm your host, Tanner Lee, and here with me is former Rochester graduate Riley Carr and current um, sergeant in the Army. That's correct. It's good and, to be um, here. Uh, over the last past month, um, Channel 13 News out in Indianapolis posted a pretty cool video about Riley uh, surprising her sister Cheney at the Ball State's uh, graduation ceremony. Can you uh, kind of tell us how this uh, surprise came about? Well, I am um, clear back in would have been the end of April. I started kind of formulating the plan. My sister said she was going to be taking a summer school class and then finishing up July 20th. So, you know, the mastermind of, as I was to try to sidetrack me while I was in Afghanistan to start formulating a plan to obviously surprise her for a graduation. And I knew that she knew, along with my family, that I wasn't going to be in attendance. I was still kind of in the midst of the, the trek back home and um, I just long shot reached out to Ball State to her, President Gora and, and said hey you know curiosity uh, could I participate at any capacity during during the ceremony and they were all about it um, put me in touch with her assistant and basically um, from the start of May until when I got home we were in constant communication and and it panned out my chain of command. We we got home June 30th and you know rushed me head of the line to get through our, our reverse reintegration. And uh, basically um, just a couple of my best friends back home knew so they could pick me up at the airport and get me some clothes or this, that, and the other. And it worked out. I was able to uh, hide backstage, news um, 13, they were all about it. Absolutely amazing. And 
you know, the generosity and sincerity of wanting this to make be a, a special day. So they did their thing, and, and when, when, it, when it hit and time to go, she walked across, there we were, you guys just saw it, so it panned out. I don't know how it did, but... How cool, and how cool of uh, Ball State to be so, uh, you know, well Very accommodating. They were very genuine. Easy Absolutely. They, uh, you know, it's, it's hard telling these days, but... But I tell you what, they were um, so sincere in wanting this to be, you know, a special homecoming, not only for myself, but for our family. And, you know, granted, at the same time, we didn't want to take away from, you know, the other graduates and their special day. I think it, we pieced it together just right to, you know, not interrupt too much with the ceremony, but to do our thing and then keep it going. So how hard was this to keep the surprise away from your family? Oh, it was tough. I mean, between, the, you know, my family, extremely close-knit, and with my sister and I, very close. It was hard to, mm -hmm. to keep this, but at the same time, I knew, I knew that this would be a dream come true, if you will. Yeah. Being, being away for eight months and, um, you know, wanting to tell them so mm -hmm. bad because there were days where they were just devastated. I wasn't, yeah. wasn't going to get to be there. and you know, witness this milestone in her life. Mm -hmm. And like I said, push came to shove, it ended up working out. And for me, transitioning back, you know, that was a lot to begin with, but I had, you know, something to focus on to kind of keep get me through and and it worked out. Yeah, um, how, how cool it all just formed together. I mean, it's kind of, it's almost like stuff you see on movies. Was, all just formed together. And all I can say is it was meant to be. Yeah. And. As I had mentioned in the clip, that you know somebody upstairs had a hand in this because mm -hmm. there were too many, you know, intricate pieces that could have gone wrong or yeah. could have had me back in a corner, but All it worked that. out and it was what was supposed to happen. All the dots so. kind of lined up there. And, yep. Um, what were the reactions you got? I mean, from friends, family, just anybody. You know? Um, very supportive, very excited. Like you said, things that you see in movies. Mm -hmm. You know, you wouldn't. You know, think that small town, mm -hmm. you know, kids that, you know, you see it and it's, it wasn't done to, you know, receive that credit, but it was just neat that a lot of people could see a local, you know, Rochester High School graduate, mm -hmm. somebody that's went on, you know, very family oriented and, and wanting to, you know, make them happy and excited. And, you know, after all the support of, from people while I was deployed, whether it was letters, boxes, the extra prayers, I mean, all of it was what was needed to get me back home. And like I said, people were so appreciative for it, and that means a lot, especially for, for myself and for my family who, you know, were an extension of me to do my job and get back home. Now, can you tell us a little bit of, uh, about what um, your uh, post uh, high school life has been like? Um, going, you went to college? Uh, Rensselaer, you know, correct? Yep, I started at St. Joe, I'm in my shirt right now, and um, I played basketball there my freshman year and got injured, so I went ahead and I uh, switched things up and finished up my college education at Huntington University. Um, I graduated, graduated there in 2010, and then, um, then that fall is when I left for the Army, and I've been stationed out at Fort Lewis, which is just south of, south of Seattle, um, people always want to know about the weather, how is it, it's beautiful, but beauty meshed with rain only goes so far. So it's been a wonderful experience, um, gotten to do a lot of things, you know, obviously with the, with the deployment, lots of opportunities with uh, working in different realms of areas um, within the military and outside support. So. Um, the Army, the military life has set me up for, you know, greater success and, it, you know, whatever you make of it is clearly what's going to happen and I will uh, finish up in May out there. I go back next week and then I'll be there in May, till May and following that I think we'll transition to the next coast out to the other Washington in, in the D.C. area. Very cool. So. Very cool. And what made you want to join the military? Um, I've always been super intrigued. I always tell this story, super intrigued with um, the World War II era and with the military not being as prevalent as you know most military individuals. Um, just something that 
not I, I wouldn't say I want to check off check that box but something I knew that I in my heart I really wanted to do wanted to experience and you know the long list of, of individuals that have served it's you know something I hold near and dear in my heart so I, I got my degree I opted to go the enlisted side instead of commissioned to an officer and um, kind of learn the ropes and see both sides of it and don't regret any any of those choices that I made um, like I said it's definitely set me up for a greater success whether to continue a career in the military or transition back into the civilian sector and that's the the route that I'm gonna opt and go into like I said I finish in May and um, look to continue to stay in more of the the DOD or the government aspect of it, but um, I've, I've learned a lot. I've experienced, you know, numerous different situations and, and whatnot. Met a lot of great people and just ready to kind of move forward and go with the next thing in life. Well, I know I can speak for many of us around the community and just around everywhere that we're very thankful, and grateful for your service, just like everybody who's in the military right now. And um, can, do you have any advice for anybody? Uh, any young people thinking about joining the military? Um, I would say, like I alluded to earlier, that you know anything in life that you aspire to be, or whether it's a Purdue grad or an Indiana State, or you know wanting to stay close to home and and transition out of high school, it's it's what you make of it. Um, you know, military or not, it's you got to have you know the determination. Uh, the willingness to put work in um, the military is a great a great thing for people that want structure want to figure out you know what's next next in life be a part of you know the camaraderie of you know guys that you might not have ever experienced um, like I said it's been a it's been a fun ride I thoroughly enjoyed my time in it and you know for me I'm ready. I've got that dose of what I needed to continue to go on to the next stage. And for some, it's what they need. And, um, you know, hard work, dedication, having a good conscience, and knowing what's good for you, what's good for your families. And, you know, it's not a bad deal. And, you know, the honor and the, the prestige that's behind it, again, it's what you make of it. And, you know, truly anything in life, then military just happens to be something that you can choose to to represent that. Definitely, definitely. And you said you were uh, in Afghanistan for a while. Yes. Um, what was that like, trying to get used to the weather and just kind of the culture over there? Um, I had a very unique deployment, if you will. It was myself with 78 guys. So you can only imagine <laughs> the experience I had. Um, once in a lifetime thing, uh, we experienced a lot together uh, you know highs and lows trials tribulations um, different way of life over there and not that that's wrong or anything that's just what they do there you know we try to try to intervene and do what we can you know to my saying is do what we can while we can mm -hmm. and our mission was you know as such and you know whether it be weather or so on and so forth you adapt try to keep the open mind and for those of us that are you know bullheaded and <laughs> just got to break your ways and and make the most of it um, but a wonderful experience and brought all my guys home which that's what we needed that's that awesome. was what we set home set a couple home for injuries but we all came home so. that's awesome and what was the average temperature on like a day over there um, where we were at, we were up at an elevation about 6,600 feet. So, in comparison, you know, think of your Arizona weather, it's a dry heat. Um, that sun's hot, it could be 60, 70 degrees, and that sun just beats on you. But towards the end, right before we left in June, it was about 100, 115 daily. Wow. So, That's not terrible heat, but when you, you know, lug on 50, 60 pounds, it's... It's pretty hot. It's hot. <laughs> it's pretty hot. And, uh... Your future plans you said you weren't sure if you're gonna stay stick with the military or get back with um, regular civilian mm -hmm. life that's that's the plan um, come May I'll finish up with the military and my contract then expires and I'll then transition to um, a job out in Northern Virginia area okay. so 
times up, my window closed to stick around with the military and pass that up just to know that, you know, we'll see what's next mm -hmm. in life. Well, I'm sure we'll be looking forward to hearing from you about your decision about that and uh, just want to thank you again for your service to uh, this country. And, uh, Appreciate it. Thank you for taking time and uh, sharing your awesome story of surprising uh, your sister Cheney on graduation day. Absolutely. So that is, there you have it. You've been watching RTC Live on Channel 4.